Hi there, Void868B back again. Well, been playing with the Haddam magnetic clogging machine again. This time we've got even more puzzling results. See, the videos you're about to see it shows the machine, what it looks like, and then we're going to show you three experiments that I ran. Ah, the first one, well, there seemed to get electricity out of nowhere, just drawing it out of the air. And before you say, well, it's your bioelectric field getting in there, the second part of the first one I'm going to show you is we just reversed it. Doesn't generate anything. And the third one is the same as the first. We're holding uh, the red uh, probe wire in the uh, magnetic field, but we're using I'm using a pair of uh, insulated stripping pliers. And something different happens. So if any of you guys out there have any ideas what's going on, please, I'd like to know. Thanks for your time, Boyd868B. Oh, remember, if you see one of my videos on an ad on a website trying to sell you something, it's a scam. I'm not selling anything, not doing anything other than having fun doing projects. Thanks for your time. I'm out of here. Okay, there's the overview of the whole thing. On the bottom, you got a drive motor with uh, 10 magnets in it. The two side ones that are horizontal from each other are 61 amp alternators with uh, 8 magnets in the head. And the top one is a 350 amp alternator with uh, an 8 magnet head. Uh, the frame, as you can see, that's all nicely bolted together. And we've got a clamp down to the table. So, that's what we've got. Nothing's plugged in. Nothing's going on around it except over there. We got a guy grinding. I don't know. Okay, we got one probe up there touching one head. And there's the readings. Now we can move it around. Go into the field over here. Not touching anything. And stay steady there. Hmm. It'll hold steady there. And the probe still isn't touching anything. It's out here midair. That's what we're getting. I don't know how to explain it. Don't move the probe around. That way and around. There. When I move it across there, that's what we get. That one's still over there touching that one. Then, if you touch it to one of the heads, 
That's what you get. Take it away from the head. I have no idea what's going on, but we're just going to stand here for a while. Hold everything in the same place. And see what happens. Nice to see things haven't changed. No. Yeah, that's it. It's just kind of like, okay. I don't know what happens. But well, at least it's consistent. Well, that's it. I mean, it's what? Saturday? Yeah. Monday? And now today? Okay. That's me moving it around. You can see. Now that the probe has been in there for what, five minutes? It seems to have steadied down no matter where you move it. We're getting, there we go, yeah, there was some movement. But it's standing pretty steady, okay. Right around there. So I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna switch it, put the ground probe in the air, Put the hot one on uh, the head, and we'll see what happens then. Okay, now we just switched it to where we've got the red head, or the uh, probe on the magnet head. And we got the black one over here to wave in space. And we don't get a whole lot of anything. but it will not hold steady. And here's what I'm doing. And we don't get a whole lot of anything. We get random flickers, just like when it's outside the field. But when we get back in there, there's no steady one. So you've got me what's going on here. Okay. Hmm. Got a whole lot of nothing going on. Okay. You 
got me. We'll try some other things here. Okay, now I've clamped the probe to the alternator holder. And I've got the other one insulated from me. And there is the meter. I'm going to stick it into the field. That's what we get. But it won't hold steady. And that is just going like this. We pick up those kind of fluctuations. But I guess that could be off the magnetic head. But why is it when you hold it by hand, you get a constant, consistent reading? What happened, man? You used to be energetic and the ladies loved you. Now you're tired, moody, and out of shape. Don't be that guy. Try Ageless Male, a supplement shown to raise testosterone by 50% and maintain normal levels. Feel that energy again and the healthy sex drive. Call to try Ageless Male risk-free. 1-800-719-2640. 1-800-719-2640. So if you move it on the same pattern, you constantly get a good reading down there. Any suggestions, please? I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I got no idea.